Full disclosure, I am a community moderator for First Contact Entertainment, the developers of Firewall Zero Hour and Firewall Ultra. Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here, and I am here today to tell you that a war is coming. A war for your PSVR 2. Unlike anything we saw on PSVR 1. The war currently has five participants, but I've no doubt that number will increase within the next year or two. Firewall Ultra. Pavla Vior. Crossfire Sierra Squad. Ghosts of Tabor. And Alvo. will all be fighting to be the VR multiplayer modern combat first person shooter you keep coming back to on PlayStation VR 2 and most of them are set to release this year. Compare that to PSVR 1 where we had very little to play in that category until the excellent Firewall Zero Hour came along nearly two whole years after the headset actually launched. Then after Firewall you had another few years to wait until we finally got Alvo, the only other really notable modern combat shooter on the platform. It was frustrating that a platform that was so well suited to that genre of games was so starved of them. But that's about to change. Already we have Pavlov VR lined up for the launch of PSVR 2. Crossfire Sierra Squad is set for a summer release, Ghosts of Tabor slated for the third quarter of the year and Firewall Ultra is coming sometime in 2023. We also know that Alvo will be ported to PSVR 2 but as of right now it's unclear if it will be coming this year or next. Regardless of that, the first year of PSVR 2 will have already gone a long way to addressing the shortcomings of the PSVR 1. Naturally, talk is already turning to which shooter will be king of PSVR 2. Pavlov has manual reloading, therefore it's better. Firewall has AAA polish, therefore it's better, etc, etc. But before we jump into those rabbit holes, we should take a moment to just appreciate it. We have choice now. Still very limited compared to traditional platforms, but if you're going from PSVR 1 to PSVR 2, soak it in. Enjoy it. Let's hope these all take off and it opens the door for more development in that genre. We could see some real behemoths taking a chance on PSVR 2, a Call of Duty, a Battlefield, something like that, and then we're sucking diesel. But for the here and now, if you know me, you know I love Firewall Zero Hour, but that game had almost no competition on PSVR 1. That's not going to be true for the next Firewall, at least not entirely. Firewall Ultra will likely be continuing on in the Rainbow Six style of gameplay, no doubt. Slow paced, tense and tactical to the point where you really need communication to succeed in most situations. In fact, I hope Ultra really doubles down on that in any way they can. Firewall is being backed heavily by Sony themselves and you can see it in the production values of the gameplay snippets we've seen so far. So I'm really expecting it to take full advantage of the new headset features while improving on the Firewall Zero Hour experience. Then you have Crossfire Sierra Squad, the odd man out in this list because it's the only game not featuring PvP. Instead, single player and four player co-op will be the main focus. Crossfire is actually a huge IP in certain parts of the world and the short snippet of gameplay and brief overview we've got of the game both look and sound promising. It boasts about advanced AI a large arsenal of weaponry and over 70 missions to take part in mean that it could be a game you find yourself returning to again and again. Ghosts of Tabor is a game that's designed to scratch the itch of Daisy, Escape from Tarkov and Armafan. You can play solo or in co-op groups of four where you'll be sent into a large map to scavenge for rare loot, explore, complete missions, fight other players or teams and survive by eating, drinking and healing your wounds. There's a max player count of 20 on the larger maps. There was absolutely nothing like this on PSVR 1 and I'm really excited to try it out. It sounds like a game where you could have a lot of fun random encounters with other people online, just like your old lady. Pavlov VR is the one we'll get to play first as it launches day one. Pavlov is more of a known quantity, having been out on PC VR for years, where it became the most popular shooter there. It features 5 vs 5 multiplayer fun across a multitude of modes in a style that's reminiscent of Counter-Strike. 
These extra modes mix things up however as they include a zombie horde mode, trouble in terrorist town, a World War II mode and many more. There's also the added bonus of crossplay with PC viewer players. Finally there is Alvo which will be ported from the PS viewer 1 to PS viewer 2, hopefully this year. Now little is known about how Alvo will improve in the jump to PS viewer 2 as of yes. Of the five games listed I think Alvo and Pavlov are the most indirect competition with one another. They're both faster paced and arcadey with inspiration from Counter Strike. Alvo has had a lot of updates since it launched in 2021 including a zombie mode, manual reloading, crossplay with quest and a bunch of maps. And those are your five games. I began this video by calling these games VR multiplayer modern combat first person shooters but you can see there's still strong variety within that narrow genre. Whether you want the intense tactical teamwork of Firewall, the survival aspects and unpredictability of Ghost of Tabor, the co-op of Crossfire or the fast pace of Pavlov or Alvo, you've got something on PSVR 2 that you didn't on PSVR 1. Choices. And in the end, isn't Choices the real king of PSVR 2? If you're interested in shoesers coming to PS Viewer 2, then stick around the channel for future coverage. Thank you to Decepticon for letting me use his music in all of my videos. You can check him out, Decepticon.com, link in the description below. Thank you for watching. Please stay moist.